Supercomputers are amazing. They provide insight into physical processes across huge spatial and temporal scales from the smallest to the largest object in the universe and create models to predict the future. And their applications are growing every year. Nowadays, many users require far more applications than ever before in their scientific workflows. In many cases, a single job needs to execute multiple simulation applications along with in-situ visualization, data analytics, AI, and machine learning. These scientific workflows in combination with ever-growing sizes and types of supercomputers are where traditional workload managers are struggling. They were designed when everything uh, was much simpler. Imagine trying to fit thousands of passengers along with their various goods into your four-seater car. We have come up with a powerful and exciting solution called Flux. It is a software framework that manages and schedules scientific workflows to make the most of available compute and other resources. With the Flux, users don't have to worry about the system's workload manager slowing things down. Applications run faster and more efficiently. One of Flux's defining features is fully hierarchical resource management, which means it can take all of the jobs of a workflow and break them down into arbitrarily small tasks. And then it can manage them by spawning a subscheduler per subdivision. This divide and conquer approach enables Flux to scale to workflows of any size and adapt to many different system configurations and applications. With traditional workload managers, users have to wait, application performance slows down, and resources sit idle. Flux approaches this scenario differently. Users submit jobs in bundles, which are unwrapped when they reach the main scheduler. Flux spins up one or more new subschedulers to process the bundles. Flux also helps coordinate the activity between these applications, which need to communicate with each other to keep the user's workflow moving along. But it doesn't stop there. Each subscheduler is specialized to the bundle of jobs it is processing, drastically increasing performance. Thanks to fully hierarchical resource management, Flux enables higher throughput, better specialization, and portability to different computing environments. Modern supercomputers are becoming more complex, and many have heterogeneous architectures that use different types of processors, such as Sierra at Livermore Lab, Summit at Oak Ridge, and Fugaku at Riken in Japan, currently ranked number one in the world. Many workflows use different types of resources, including cloud, non-local resources, and even a user's laptop. Managing complex combinations of resources that change over time requires elevating resource relationships to an equal footing with resources themselves. Another of Flux's key features is modeling system resources as a directed graph. This mathematical model associates objects by relationships as vertices and edges. Any type of object can be a vertex or edge in a directed graph. GPUs, storage pools, network switches, and so on. Flux's fully hierarchical resource management uses the graph to check resource states, schedule allocations, add and remove resources, and many other useful operations. Compared to traditional workload managers, Flux's directed graph-based approach enables sophisticated scientific workflows to schedule complex combinations of resources with complicated relationships. This capability is critical for maximizing the use of emerging computing architectures, such as the upcoming exascale system, El Capitan, at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. The lab is doing a lot of important research in biomedicine and life sciences. One of the most amazing projects going on right now is the Mumi project, where we created a new capability to study the RAS protein, because RAS, when it's mutated, is implicated in one third of human cancers. So Mumi has a complicated workflow where we had to integrate Flux into it so we could handle all of the simulations all at the same time. The simulations run on both the GPUs and the CPUs, and to maximize the hardware, we were able to use Flux, reprioritize the jobs, actually make the jobs more efficient and reduce the bottlenecks that are typical in scaling up to a large machine. We're able to write a paper, submit that to SC19, and then win best paper. And we couldn't have done it without the Flux team. Another important project in the biology application space is the COVID-19 small molecule antiviral project. Here, we're trying to learn and discover new small molecules that bind into the protein that could inhibit the virus from spreading. We have an intricate workflow and we need to use Flux. 
because we have queuings of all the simulations, we need to keep them going. We need to prioritize the simulations based on the hardware and the software. And we need to min minimize the bottlenecks that come when we scale across different kinds of machines. Flux can run easily with a single user's laptop or an entire supercomputing center and anything in between. Users can kick off their workflows easily and they can monitor their workflows with just a few commands. It can also be integrated easily with resource managers and workflow managers in a flexible manner. Flux is open source and we make it available to every one of our users. It is already having a big impact in the world. To support our open source community actively, the Flux development team regularly organizes workshops, presentations, and tutorials. We also engage with users on GitHub and Twitter and announce Flux releases on these platforms. Additionally, our documentation website provides instructions, examples, and publications for easy access to all our users. Flux is specifically designed to solve the key technical problems that arise when running computational workflow. Flux combines fully hierarchical resource management with graph-based scheduling to provide performance, portability, flexibility, and manageability of the execution and scheduling of both traditional and complex workflows on many types of computing systems. As users at Lawrence Livermore and around the world are realizing, having Flux is like managing your application using your own personal supercomputer.